A whole food plant-based diet is the best diet that you can follow for your weight loss and your well-being. There's a multitude of studies that prove that. And often we know things intellectually, but we still need those stories and those confirmations that there are people out there that have achieved the results that we are wanting to achieve, that we are looking to achieve, right? In this video, I'll share the story of three especially remarkable clients because all the clients that I work with are remarkable, right? In the last six years of me being the founder and coach of fitvegans.com. Now, quick background. What we do at fitvegans.com is that we help vegans or the vegan inclined get in shape quickly and sustainably. We do so with a perfectly engineered combination of accountability, structure and personalization. In short, we help our clients know what they should do based on their unique situation. Then we help our clients do what they know that they should do. And then number three, we help our clients do that enough until solid habits are built, meaning the new behavior becomes second nature so they can achieve the results and then maintain it without having to consciously think about it. Now, while all of this is completely customized to the person that we work with, there's a few pillars, meaning there's a clay that we mold um, and then we individualize this to the person. And the clay uh, is based on two large, two components. And that is a whole food plant-based diet, right, or largely whole food plant-based diet because not everyone wants to eat 100% healthy all the time. And the solid exercise schedule, and that is something that is sustainable, meaning the average client that is just getting started trains about two to three times per week for about 30 to 45 minutes. So this is something even a very busy individual can follow. So keep that in mind when you're hearing the three success stories here in the video coming ahead is that the success stories were based on a largely whole food plant-based diet, so about 90%, something that you can actually follow with a system and with an adequate exercise routine to maintain the muscle mass along the way, especially in the weight loss examples here coming ahead. So let's just dive right in. Number one, Dr. Thomas. I say Dr. Thomas because Thomas is a medical doctor, right? Now that in and of itself is remarkable because while doctors are a caring, trustworthy and awesome group of human beings, they often don't really make the connection between one's food choices and one's personal health and well-being and that of our fellow animals, right? Now what made Thomas' story especially remarkable next to that is that Thomas underwent bypass surgery a few years back. I had had like a heart attack and heart surgery about 10 years ago, and I went vegan shortly after that. So bypass surgery is done if a person is suffering from heart disease. And heart disease is seen as a disease by most people in the medical establishment that can only be prevented but cannot be cured. But Thomas has proven them all wrong. After switching to a largely whole food plant-based diet, exercising regularly and losing a bunch of weight, Thomas' heart disease is in remission and right now he's running triathlons. A week ago, I was able to complete a triathlon and I would never have been able to do that after two weeks after COVID. And I did it with masks, everybody knows. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, yeah, biking and running with a mask, you know, and to put that in there too. And uh, I never would have been able to do that had I not gone through the six months. I shared the story of Thomas because most people think that heart disease is just a card that they're dealt with and that they cannot change. That is completely untrue and that is thinking from a century ago. And Thomas is the prime example of that. The first study into heart disease and the whole food plant based diet was done in 1990 by Dr. D. Nord Dornish, which is called the Lifestyle Heart Trial. And then Dr. D. Nornish did a follow up study in 1998 that again highlighted the benefits of a whole food plant based diet in regards to one's heart health. While the later study got more than 2000 citations, which is a lot of social proof in the, in the research community that research is still not known to the public. So if you're dealing with heart disease or if you know someone that is dealing with heart disease, then understand that this is something that you indeed do have control over. The second person that I would like to highlight here is Jens. So before Jens was switching to a largely whole food plant-based diet and made better food choices, Jens was severely bloated. You see on this before picture, you know, his stomach is popping out and Jens was in pain and constantly needed to suck in his stomach. This strongly decreased his life quality because see, Jens is a dad, husband, business owner and martial artist, meaning he serves as a role model in so many areas of life. He's a role model to the employees that he works with, but especially his kids. After working with us, switching to a largely whole food plant-based diet and being more active in a smart way, Jens is able to present a rock hard six pack. 
His energy is strongly improved and he finally serves as the superhero role model to his kids. So if you're thinking about starting a whole food plant-based diet for weight loss, then let me assure you that this is the best diet that you can follow to lose your weight. The reason for that is that animal foods, which are, have no part in a whole food plant-based diet, have significantly more calories or more calorie dense than plant foods. Also, animal foods are significantly less satiating than plant foods. And what you want in a functioning diet for weight loss is a combination of a low caloric density and high satiating components, which a whole food plant-based diet is full of. The third whole food plant-based success story is Matthew. Before working with us, Matthew was confused. He was a vegan for, for a multitude of years and very, very educated in all aspects relating health and fitness. You know, Matthew was running triathlons at that stage before he started to work with us. But not only that, he bought the plant-based nutrition course from eCarnal and he was literally working out seven days a week, but he was not seeing the results that he was looking to get. In fact, he was tired of getting comments from people that told him, hey, Matthew, do you even work out? Remember that this is a guy that trains seven days a week. While being on our first call together, I quickly saw that Matthew has all the commitment required to be in fantastic shape, has all the knowledge required, it's just structured in the completely wrong way. So it works generally, but it's not working for his unique situation. The thing I really want to get across is I have been studying nutrition for years now, and I was running you know, eight to 12 hours a week for training for my races, and just because I love being outside and I love running. But I was really frustrated that I couldn't, I still had a lot of belly fat and I didn't understand how I could be eating so healthy and working out all the time and not be, you know, completely skinny and, and, and muscular. After Matthew took the leap of faith and joined our program, he quickly saw that he was on the right track. He lost body fat very quickly and he gained a significant amount of muscle mass. I highlight Matthew's story here because I think what often prevents people to achieve their full potential in all areas of life is largely their ego. Look, there's a big gap between amateur and pro, but there's an equally big gap between pro and an expert. Matthew, before starting to work with me, was a pro. But to achieve the goals that he wanted to achieve, he needed to be an expert. And Matthew had the humility to look at his results and understand, look, I'm simply not yet good enough to get the results that I'm looking to get. While that strong self-awareness can make us feel bad in the moment, it's often the stepping stone for us to realize that, all right, I'm not yet good enough. How can I get good enough to get what I truly want? And I was trying for years to break through that plateau. And then I got coaching help. And then all of a sudden, started taking off again. And I think the moment that convinced me was just the realization that the coaching has always been a great idea. And every time I, I have a coach or even just get a course, I find that I have always had the experience I should have done this years ago. So if you like this video, if it got you pumped up, then please do smash the like button. If you want to see more videos like that, then don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And if you're a fellow vegan that is looking to get in awesome shape quickly and sustainably, and you want to learn more about what we're doing at fitvegans.com, then feel free to click the link below in the description or in the first comment. I usually I'll pin it. You can skim through some of the testimonials that we have. And if you like what you're seeing, you can apply for a spot in our awesome coaching program. So thanks for watching this video and see you next time.